And as I'm on my commitment to not wear trousers again until October, there was only really one outfit I could put on to go and Hi folks and welcome to today's vlog and welcome to Anna's last day at university for year two. I'm currently sat outside waiting to pick her up. Um, she handed all her work in yesterday. Uh, today has just been a revision session. She has got an exam in a couple of weeks but no more lectures, no more classroom sessions. So picking her up now and then, she, then she's done until the end of September. Which still, I still find that mad. I know I did all this like, what, ten years ago when I was a student so... I remember what it was like, but still very jealous of the fact that she now has five months of just lazing about the place, doing nothing. Please don't watch this video, Anna. Um, in fact, as you watch this video, it'll be Anna's birthday. So happy birthday to Anna. <laughs> I have to say it through the vlog, because at 5 p.m. on Saturday, Anna's birthday, rather than being at home, treating her like a princess and whining and dining her, um, I'm going to be at the football, because it's the last day of the football season, and it's a 5.30 kickoff. so... I have some serious groveling to do today, but I have a present. A present has arrived, so I need to get that wrapped. And I have a card ordered from Moonpig, which should arrive addressed to her tomorrow as well. Um, I've done my work for the day this morning. I've got a little bit more work to do this afternoon, but the rest of today is really about birthday preparations for Anna, so that by the time I leave to go to the football tomorrow, I go with her blessing because she can be enjoying her new her new toy, her new birthday present. I've got her a new iPad. She's never bought her own iPad. This is her third iPad. Um, the third one she's had as a birthday present from me. But I think she mentioned she mentioned like I don't know how long ago now, a month ago, that her current iPad that she's got she's had for four years now and it's really slowing down and really becoming difficult to do anything. So got her a new one hopefully it is what she wanted and she wasn't just making conversation she does use her ipad a lot so fingers crossed she'll be very pleased with that and we can have a delightful weekend it's pouring with rain though and there's no sign of her which is frustrating also pouring rain is a bit of a problem because the girls are away camping this weekend with their mum so they're going to miss anna's birthday but also get absolutely soaked in this grotty weather that's appeared from nowhere. Silly bears. Here she is, finally. A big pink umbrella. It's very wet, Kevin. You do seem very moist. Ugh. Have you had a delightful morning? <laughs> fire. Fire? Yeah. I just saw a fire engine on my way over here, bursting at the fire station. That is a large umbrella. So you've had a delightful time. Oh, feet up. No more uni now until September. Are you excited? On the 17th. Ah, it's just an exam. Exams are easy peasy. Uh, for you, maybe, <laughs> Mr. I get A's and everything. It's because I use the Lazy Students Revision Guide. <laughs> I ain't got time for reading. Brilliant. That. Trying to sell a book here. You've got to tell yeah, it's but great. I use my own pretend way. you read it and it was brilliant. Yeah, excellent. There you go. That's the spirit. Your way doesn't pay the bills. I get Kevin to tell me what to do and that's how I use it. Right. Now, obviously, last day of last day of the semester for students, they have to have some kind of wild party and celebration. So uh, Anna's here at Tesco to buy wild party celebration things. What are you after? Snacks. Snacks. There you go. This is how you do it when you're in your thirties. You just come to Tesco and buy snacks. It's taken a cold turn again for a few days, and I need to head back out to the garage for a couple more hours of work. And as I'm on my commitment to not wear trousers again until October, there was only really one outfit I could put on to go and sit out in the cold garage for a couple of hours. And I'm back in the house after recording a football manager video um, where Anna has clearly put the heating on despite it being May. And this thing is making me melt already. I've just walked in and the heat in here has it's hit me. So it is so so hot in here now, with what a fleecy it? onesie on. The heating's got to go down. It's on. What is that? Oh, so hot. Um, Andy is home. As I walked in, he walked out. I don't think it's something I said. I think he was on his way out of the room anyway. But he is home. We'll check in with him in a little while. 
Are you serious? He heard me coming and ran away? Did you realise I'm dressed as one of his heroes? I need to go and put some sensible human clothes back on. You're in bed, are you? Yeah. Have you had a good day? Yeah. Splendid. You're actually under your covers. How is everybody... I don't understand how everybody's not feeling the ridiculous heat in here. He's actually under his duvet. Insane. We finally have an Andy in the room because it's Zuma time. This is now officially part of the evening routine, I think. We've had this on, I think, every day for the last week now. Anna is playing away and as ever. Andy just completely oblivious to the fact that it's on. But if she stopped playing it, he would instantly... What is, what's going on? Why have you stopped playing it? But he's not actually watching or doing it. Just pause the game, just to... Pause, Sandy. <laughs> Instant, but he's not watching. It's it's. Good I don't boy. I don't know what he's getting out of it, but clearly. No, my name is Mummy. <laughs> That's the other thing. He's taken to calling Anna woman, um, which is, I guess, a progression of female. Not the most respectful thing for a kid to call his mum though. Um, he, when he came, first came downstairs, he asked for his Vita, and Anna told him that it was in his green bag that he keeps his gadgets in, and his his response was. You get it, woman. Find it, woman. Oh, yeah, find it, woman. And um, I'm sat here. He's there. She's over there. I'm sat here going, mustn't laugh. But it, find it, woman. It was brilliant. Anna wasn't at all impressed. It's your fault. Why? You are a woman. Would you, like, would you like him to call you by your name? No, my name is Mummy. I'm not going to walk around calling you Mummy. Do you have to call me Woman oh, yeah. every time? Woman, do you want to drink? <laughs> I can't win. Yes. Carry on playing your game. Why are you paused? We're trying to enjoy the game. Woman! Uh, yeah, why would Dave respond to Woman? He's a, he's a boy. Not your mouth, Andy. Where are we going in a few weeks? Wait, I didn't even mean to finish the question. Are you excited? Whoa, are you excited, Dave? <laughs> You're not coming to Disney. What are you doing and why? Every time I pick up the camera, Dave shows off. Anna is finally upstairs giving Andy his bath, which means I can get this wrapped up, which is her birthday present. What color is this one? The something gold, rose gold? Is this rose gold or just gold gold? Uh, but it's the 2018 iPad. Let's get it wrapped up. I don't know where the scissors are. Who needs scissors? Kev's top tip of the day, if you are going to tear your wrapping paper, put the torn piece inside so nobody ever notices. Just a genius. It's a bit long. Final top tip, even though I can wrap presents perfectly well, it's important to then add loads of random strips of tape so it looks like I can't, so that when it comes to Christmas, anyone's birthday other than Anna's, and any other occasion for wrapping, I obviously can't do it because I'm a buffoon who does that. One wrapped present. Back outside to finish off the day with recording the podcast. Warm weather gear on again this time. Marvel dressing gown. Batman versus Superman blanket. Can't show any favouritism, but it is cold out here. Don't know what I've just thrown on the floor. Camera charger. 
it is cold out here and I don't want to buy another heater until the winter so we'll just wrap up warm this should be the last proper cold session out here I think um, but we are going to wrap today's vlog up there usual weekly reminder listen to the Mature Gamer podcast search for MGP on Spotify or Apple Podcasts or wherever else you might listen to your podcasts and you better find me and Anna and Sheepdog and Pab talking about video games and pop culture stuff and that kind of thing it's uh, it's a wonderful thing it's the longest running thing I've ever done in my life it's been running since the start of 2012 it's a long time for me so go check it out let me know down in the comments what you think of the show but we will wrap the vlog up here second piece of wrapping today because I had to wrap the present oh it's Anna's birthday vlog tomorrow very excited so need to get this finished need to get to bed need shenanigans to ensue tomorrow if you have enjoyed today's vlog though please make sure you leave a nice big thumbs up on there for us subscribe to the channel for more daily vlogs and thank you very much for watching